This conference will now be yes, recorded. Sir. Yeah, so let us start. Uh, let me give uh, overall idea in layout uh, engineer what is going to do. Uh, that overall idea I'm going to give now. And then let me see what are the projects you'll be doing in this part of course. Uh, could you able to see this one, this picture? Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, sir. This is what complete. Uh, this is what complete uh, uh, picture of the layout. What we will basically do. Uh, custom layout will be developing the layout for uh, digital circuits and then uh, some uh, analog circuits. Uh, we'll begin basically. We'll begin with the schematic entry. Okay, so someone will give schematic of uh, gates, or it may be some uh, analog circuits like uh, Smith trigger level circuit or PLL, a big block PLL will have many sub blocks uh, like charge form, uh, phase detector, frequency divider circuits. Uh, the job of layout uh, engineer used to draw the layout for the schematic, which is given by the design engineer. Okay. So if you look at this, uh, the flow of uh, what VLSI, uh, VLSI uh, custom layout engineer will do, uh, we will start from the schematic. So we'll do the schematic creation. So once you do the schematic creation, we'll be doing some, uh, we'll be doing pre simulations and analysis. Uh, we'll be having different tools to do uh, pre simulations, like you may heard about uh, LT spice, uh, S spice. Uh, like other uh, uh, pre simulation tools are available. Uh, in our synopsis tool, we'll be using the prime wave. Uh, design involvement we'll be using to do uh, pre simulation for the schematic. So, once you draw the schematic, we'll do the pre simulation. Uh, a tool which we are using here is nothing but prime wave. After doing the pre simulation of this, we'll be start drawing the layouts. So, in the, the layout, uh, we'll be understanding that. Uh, how you can uh, do the uh, create uh, creating the layout for the schematic, and then how to do simple layout addition. This this will do routing, auto routing, interconnection creation. This part will be doing the layout. For drawing the layout, we'll be using the custom compiler tool from the synopsis. We'll do custom compiler for the drawing the layout. Once we draw the layout, we will be very fine. What are the verifications we'll do? Is nothing but will be do design rule check and then LVS verification, then other checks like NVN and LVL comparison. So basically, uh, this verification done through IC validator tool. Suppose uh, I want to design a circuit for 28 nanometer, I want to design the circuit for uh, 40 nanometer in different technology node. So we will be having a set of DRC rule, design rule check. Once you draw the layout, we'll be doing the DRC and LV, uh, LVS. Uh, this will be done basically using the IC validator tool. So when you draw the layout and other checks basically will do during the layout is nothing but like uh, some uh, compilers will be using to analyze this layout and then we'll do some error checks like DRD checks and VR checks, color decomposition, metal density analysis will be do that in a part of uh, in design error checks, and then some electrical checks will do electro migration, resistance check, capacitance, and shielding coverage. So, along with that, we'll also do power device uh, designs. Also, uh, this are the number stage of the layout part. So, once you've done the layout, we'll do for physical verification like DRC, LVS will do. LVS is nothing but layout process schematic, and DRC is nothing but uh, design role checks. Once you've done this, we'll be doing the parasitic extraction. So like what are the parasitic extraction like resistance, resistance, and then capacitance. We'll be extracting through star RC uh, tool. Uh, parasitic is generally extracted in synopsis using the star RC. So once we do all this uh, physical verification, then again, we'll do for the post layout simulation using the same uh, tool that is nothing but a prime wave tool. So, after uh, physical verification, we'll do post layout simulation and then we'll do the, some reliability checks. The reliability checks like ERC checks, ESD checks, and different things we'll do. This is what the entire flow uh, where uh, the, the 
Leo Tinier. Basically, Leo Tinier's are again here three engineers. One engineer is nothing but a pre-layout uh, simulation engineer. Before that, he will do the design part, schematic design, and do the verification. This part of engineer we call it as a design engineer, and this part of engineers we call it as a layout engineer. The job of the layout engineer is to draw the layouts for the given schematic and do the LVS and VRC checks. And then again, uh, other engineers uh, use the post layout uh, simulation engineers will be there. They are going to do the post layout simulation. As a part of our course, uh, we will be start teaching you that uh, some of the circuits, uh, circuits maybe PLL and then uh, few memory devices, then few standards such like NAN or other gauge, and then. Uh, some of the analog circuits like level shifter circuits, Smith trigger circuits. Uh, uh, then, if you come into the digital part, like how to design the uh, flip flops, then counters. That schematic we will teach you. So, once you do the uh, schematic creation, we will be doing the pre layout simulation. Then, we started teaching you that how to uh, draw the layout for this given schematic. And then, uh, as a part of course, we will be teaching you how to do DRC and LVS check and then. Uh, basically, uh, one or two circuits will be showing you that how to do the parasitic extraction. And then this post layout simulation or the tool we have is not uh, be uh, not properly working. So that we will teach you up to the physical verification like uh, extraction of the uh, resistance and the capacitance. So other checks uh, usually uh, this will be doing on the industry uh, wise. Uh, to buy these tools and then doing all these checks, uh, the tools uh, cost wise is more, uh, so that we will be not doing this reliability check and all other all these uh, checks which you can see in the right hand side of this uh, uh, image. Okay, so if you look at uh, what basically a schematic uh, layout engineer will do, uh, let me know the tool. So the tool which we are working for this uh, layout creation is nothing but custom compiler. Uh, the custom compiler to do pre-simulation. So we'll be using the uh, prime wave as I mentioned. For LVS and DRC verification, we'll be using uh, uh, IC validator for parasitic extraction star RC. So this is what. Uh, let me show you the layouts. Okay, let me start from the simple circuit. So this is what the schematic creation for the inverter uh, CMOS. So one PMOS, this is one PMOS, and this is one MOS. Uh, you know what is the connection of the inverter. So once you draw this schematic, after uh, design of this schematic, we will be uh, teaching you to do pre-simulation verification. So after that, we will be teaching you that how to draw the layout. So this is the layout of the inverter. This is not completely uh, VDD and VSS is not run. Let me show you the inverter one. Okay. Let me show the inverter one. It is not, it is also not completely done. Let me show you on the gate layout. Okay, so this is a layout of on the gate. On the gate, uh, we will show you that how to draw the on the gate layout and then uh, how to do uh, avoiding the DRC violations when you are designing the layout by checking the DRC rules and then uh, LVS rules. Uh, for this DRC, uh, we will be using a tool called IC validator. So this is drawn. This layout is drawn according to DRC rule of 28 nanometer. If any violations are there, it will show the violations so that we need to address as per the DRC rules. Uh, this layout is done as per DRC so that it is not showing any 
Okay, they basically it's on some errors. We need to address. Okay, uh, don't worry. This is uh, one layout uh, which is showing some DRC violations. We need to address. Uh, if I am not following the DRC rules, it will throw some errors. Uh, we need to address this uh, DRC rules. So once you are done with the DRC, DRC rules, we need to verify with the LVS check. So layout versus uh, schematic check. We need to compare the layout which you have drawn for uh, under gate and then the schematic which you have drawn. To match that, we will be checking for the LVS rules. And this is how where you can extract in the parasitic extraction like uh, resistance and the capacitance uh, extraction we'll do using this LP. Uh, see, the basically uh, the projects uh, which we'll be doing in this course is we'll I have listed out here. Uh, these are the projects. Uh, the projects which you are covering in the Custom layout is nothing but we'll do all the standard cell layouts like basic gates and then applications gates. Uh, and then some circuits, uh, analog circuits, will be uh, doing this uh, current mirror and single stage and dual stage opens and then uh, deep flip flop, then level shifter, then uh, low drop voltage, band gap reference, then some memory SMB RAM, then converters will do ADC and then PLL, phase block loop, and DAC is a converter. Serializer and deserializer. Uh, then we'll teach you how to do voltage control oscillator and DLL. And some projects which is related to real time will be giving you the demonstration. So these are what uh, projects we'll be taking uh, doing in the uh, entire uh, layout course. Uh, the duration of this course will be uh, six months. Uh, in the two months of work uh, duration, we'll be teaching you basics. The basics like uh, we'll start from the digital advanced uh, digital design. Then we'll teach you some Linux uh, commands and we'll teach you one uh, scripting languages, uh, tool command language. So after that, uh, we'll be teaching you the CMOS foundation. So this is what the complete uh, basic course. Uh, for two months, you will be going through this. Uh, once you're done with the basics, we'll be starting with the advanced layout. Uh, in the advanced part of layout, we'll be teaching you uh, network theory foundation. After going through a network theory foundation, we'll revise some of the CMOS topics. Then we'll go for implementation of the layouts for all these circuits. So we'll be having theory sessions as well as the lab sessions. Uh, if it is a morning theory session, afternoon we'll uh, we'll teach you to how to uh, design, draw the layouts for the given uh, schematic, and then do the DRC and LVS checks. Uh, in, uh, do the, this will be done, advanced part of layout will be done in the uh, four months, two months basics and two months uh, advanced part, uh, where uh, we will be teaching all this. As I said, that uh, we will start from the ASIC design flow and then uh, advanced digital system, then CMOS, some semiconductor and its uh, fundamental dividers we will be discussing. And then once you've gone through the uh, basic things, then we go for layout. And the layout basically uh, will talk about uh, the issues which you are facing when you draw the layouts. There are many issues, latch up problem, then WP uh, problem, uh, then antenna problem. There are many issues will come when you are drawing the layout. Uh, we will talk about the issues and then uh, what are the remedies? Remedies to avoid the layout issues uh, that theoretically we will be covering. So along with that, we'll start implementing the projects. All these projects will be implementing. Uh, this is what the course we will be covering in the layout part. Okay. So and then uh, two additional courses we'll be teaching you. So uh, like the Linux basics, we'll be teaching you, and then tickle programming. So this too is an added advantage for your resume. Uh, so the tickle program is not necessary for uh, analog layout engineer. But knowing any one scripting language is advantageous when you are going for any interviews. Yeah, this is what overview. And uh, I mean, uh, I'll be uh, teaching you more detailly in the next session uh, because of uh, I have back to back some workshop schedules. So that I'm breaking out the overview, like what we'll cover and what basically layout engineer will do. 
uh, that I'll speak today, and then in the next week session, we'll be going through the more detail about this layout. Uh, as of now, if you have any questions out there, any other sort of questions out there, can you please go ahead? Any questions from your side? Uh, can you go ahead? So regarding tool, uh, we'll be using custom compiler. Uh, in a custom compiler, again, for free simulation, then uh, drawing the layout, and then do the verification, different tools we'll be using. Uh, custom compiler for drawing the layout, pre, uh, prime way for the pre layout and post layout simulation, and then uh, physical verification like DRC and VS checks will be using the IC validator, and then parasitic extraction will be using a star RC tool. So we'll be teaching you how to connect the server, okay, how to invoke the tool, then how to start. All these steps we'll be teaching you at the advanced part of the layout. Hello, sir. Sir, the next class yes. will be on tomorrow on which timings? Uh, we'll let you know. Uh, probably I have some busy schedule. This week I have some workshop. Uh, we, we will be informing you on Thursday so that uh, uh, yeah, probably will be inform you on Thursday. Uh, within this week, it will happen. Within this, okay. I'll try to do that. Okay. Yeah. Any any other questions out there? Can you please go ahead. Like timings, then course, like any circuits. Do you have any other questions out there? Please go ahead. Um, sir, about uh, tests. So, how can the grading system will be? Uh, yeah. So, uh, basically, two months, as I said, we'll be covering the uh, basic courses uh, like digital system, Linux, and uh, typical programming. Uh, each course completion, uh, we will be conducting the test uh, where student has to secure 80% of the marks. Okay, 80% of the marks. Along with along with that, we'll be having a couple of uh, assignment questions for each course. Uh, student has to take up the, the questions and find the answers, writing the solution to all the assignment questions. This is the second part. And then third part is nothing but for each completion of course, we'll be uh, doing the mock interviews. And then uh, we also ask the students to prepare the PPT and uh, select the particular topic and uh, prepare the PPT. And we ask the students to do the presentation. So these are the criteria. Uh, how we can basically uh, we will uh, select your resume to send this your profile to the recruiters. Uh, we will be checking that checking it to your attendance and then your marks for the each course and then uh, assignment status. Then we'll be uh, conducting the mock interviews, your mock interview marks, and then presentation skills. So this five criteria we will consider to select your profile and share this profile into the recruiters. This one uh, we will follow the criteria, and then coming to the test now, basically we will conduct the test. Is uh, test will be conducted uh, through online. Uh, we will be giving the multiple choice questions like uh, 60 to 80 questions, and we'll give time duration where student has to select the uh, right uh, answer. Okay. Uh, this is how we will conduct a test for each courses. Okay, sir. Uh, like any other sort of questions are there? Can you please uh, go ahead so that I can discuss that? Or what about the mock interview? Yeah, we will conduct the mock interview. When I teach a course completion, we will be conducting the mock interview. Suppose you are done with the digital system design. So we will cover the mock interview for the digital design, like Linux, like Tickle programming, then advanced layout also. Uh, we will be conducting the mock interview once you completion of that particular course. Okay. Uh, we will check. 
He has a he has a set that we will check five uh, five parameters. One parameter is your attendance. Second parameter is your uh, test marks, and third parameter is nothing but your assignment status. And the fourth one is uh, uh, your mark into your marks, and uh, fifth one uh, is nothing but presentation. Your skills we will check. So, okay, uh, as of my knowledge, uh, there were only eight people in analog layout course. So, sir, yes. what about the placement criteria and placements in the analog layout course? Uh, so, analog layout course, as of now, there are a lot of openings are uh, happening. And uh, weekly, once or twice, we are getting the mails from uh service base and then product based companies uh, saying that any prime candidate candidates are there they're asking to share the profiles okay so recently one batch is completed where there are nine students on there uh out of nine there's seven students are not placed but the remaining two uh students uh they are not properly attend the sessions and then not uh completing the uh layouts so they are still in preparation level uh were completely prepared as we what we guided they all are got placed and uh, one is placed in hcl one is placed in insomni one is placed in alpha wave and two are placed in ansemi ansemi so regarding placement uh, if you have any confusion any doubts uh, like kind of things are there we will be sharing you the details for got placed recently okay you can directly contact them and then you can enter regarding the course content and then uh, placement assistance for your uh, double clarification okay sir thank you yeah sir <coughs> hello sir yes yes babu yes uh, sir myself i have started my btech in 2016 Due to my some health conditions and the personal problems, I have dropped out of the college. And on 2023, I have joined to the uh, final year of my uh, BTEC. I have completed in 2024. Yes. So, oh, I'm an 80 years BTEC. Yeah, so I have started in 2016 and I dropped out of the college and uh, I have completed my final year in 2024. In 2020, you completed. 20 or 23? Sir. 24. When you I have completed it. Okay, you are recently Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I was uh, 80th uh, graduate from EC department. Sir, is there any like uh, having the ATS background difficult to me in, uh, in the placement time. Uh, yeah, basically they will check uh, who are coming for uh, asking for the programs. Uh, basically they will ask the student with uh, uh, no career gap. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. The company, they, they will uh, check this criteria. Uh, they want uh, profiles with uh, no career gap. Yeah. Uh, regarding this, uh, to fill the experience, uh, you can talk to uh, our manager once. Uh, I have less idea about this. How they are taking care about all this? I have less idea. Uh, you can talk to once uh, our manager so that he will uh, properly guide you uh, for your career gap and what uh, couple of steps they are taking. Those details uh, is given by the manager. You can talk to him once, uh, Babu. Uh, directly or through phone, sir? Yeah, that is love to you. How do you convince you can do that part? Because I was ever from the school, that's why I'm asking. Uh, it's so far. Yeah, you can, once you talk to, uh, to call and then later uh, you can decide. Whether you are, they they are they are asking you to come here and discuss and then in phone call itself they can um, discuss. Uh, you can check with them once. First you already I have them. discussed with the uh, I mean call operator. Uh, he she mm -hmm. told me that no problem. We will uh, send your profile mm -hmm. as a uh, fresh fresh year. That's no problem. She told me. Sir. Okay. okay. 
So usually so I myself enrolled also sir, uh, paying 5k okay. and uh, enrolled myself. Okay, okay. So usually in recruiters they will see the candidates with a no career gap. That is what their basic criteria for uh, recruiters. Uh, I think they will yes. take uh, other other way. Uh, they are planning to push you once you completion of the course. Uh, the detail you can talk to admin ones. Okay, uh, less uh, yes. idea. You can talk to manager. Uh, if you don't mind, will you provide the numbers uh, to talk with the manager, sir? Yeah, sure. I'll provide no problem. Oh, okay, sir. This is how can I message you, sir? Through WhatsApp or? Yeah, through WhatsApp you can you can talk to them. Oh, let me know your number, sir. Your WhatsApp number. Um, I think they, you paid the five thousand, right? In that you'll be getting the technical and non-technical uh, faculty. I mean uh, numbers, trainer, mentor, and non-technical people's numbers. Uh, you use that number to contact the admin. So any one of you tell. Um, uh, to share the management oh. number. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Sir, actually, myself, Andrew, uh, uh, yeah. sir, I, I have joined in this uh, link recently. Uh, so, can you uh, summarize what are the things you will cover in this uh, course, sir? Actually, uh, I have uh, little experience in this uh, analog circuit design and uh, inverter based layout design. Uh, but uh, uh, for complex circuits, I don't have practice. So, uh, what are the things you will uh, cover in this course? Uh, so, in this course, we, we will be teaching you starting from the uh, schematic creation. And then, once you do the schematic creation, we'll be teaching you how to do pre layout simulation uh, using okay. Prime View. Then we'll do okay. layout creations. After layout creation, we'll do uh, physical verification like DRC, LBS, and parasitic extractions. Uh, okay. We, we'll be doing the post layout simulation. We'll teach you up to you physical verification like DRC and LBS. Okay, uh, okay, sir. Mm. Uh, whether the what pin placement, uh, uh, like uh, IO pads, those topics uh, uh, will support us. Uh, can you repeat again? Which topic? Uh, but, uh, after uh, these uh, uh, DRC, LVS things, sir, uh, we have these uh, uh, pin placements and IO pad uh, related things uh, for the uh, complete uh, chip design for fabrication. No, no, no. Full chip to design fabrication in our uh, industry we will not doing. Okay. Uh, okay. We will be, do, we'll be doing. These are the okay. projects we'll be doing. Uh, starting from uh, st standards and layouts to some advanced mm -hmm. uh, schematics like. Uh, okay. PLL. This one. We'll not, this is what we'll be doing. Standard cells. Then some analog circuits like. Uh, okay. okay. Actually, I am uh, working on PLL design, sir. I am. Uh, I have completed the front end design. Uh, I am entering into the layout design. Uh, so, uh, whether uh, uh, the course will be useful for me. Moreover, uh, uh, I am in IIT Guwahati. Uh, so, uh, when uh, going for uh, some uh, placement in uh, industries, whether it will uh, help me. Uh, actually, I am a postdoc here. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, in PLL, uh, teaching the supplements of the PLL, uh, like uh, PLL. Uh, uh, I am integer based PLL, not a fractional one. It's a uh, integer based one. I am using Cadence here, sir. Uh, uh, we are using Synapses, right, in this uh, course. Yeah, yeah. Synapses may be used. Yes. yes. Okay, uh, so but uh, there will not be much difference. Uh, 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 I feel that there is no much difference between Cadence versus okay. and then uh, it's only uh, ten percent. Uh, mm -hmm. The option wise, different. Uh, remaining things are bind case on the so many things are same. Okay, okay. Uh, 
in PLL. So based on the be... <laughs> yes, sir. PLL uh, block will be teach uh, like all okay, sub blocks okay. will be teach, develop and then how to uh, do the layout for the big PLL I and mean, then big. Uh, okay. So okay. Bigger circuits. Okay. So in PLL, where we teach you the uh, phase detector, charge form, mm -hmm. voltage control, mm -hmm. uh, all these uh, sub blocks we will be teaching you schematic and then uh, drawing the mm -hmm. then get the DRC in the any any one project or a uh, few number of projects uh, we will be working on, sir. I'm not like uh, we will work on PLL, uh, uh, we will whether we will work on PLL alone or we will be working on uh, other blocks like DAC, VCO, DLL, uh, like that. Uh, other we blocks also we will work. To, to build the PLL, mm -hmm. to build the PLL main block, we need a sub blocks, right? Many sub blocks are required. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll For fractional thing, and DLL also will be required. Yeah, yeah, VCO. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be oh. working on all this phase detector, voltage control oscillator, okay. then we will mm -hmm. uh, develop. Transform, then that what will be used to integrating to the main block, PLL block design. Yes, yes. Uh, so these other blocks like LDO, SRAM, DRAM, uh, those things uh, will be included or uh, that is a different project? Uh, like these are the different projects. Uh, LDO, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All these are different projects only. So this is open, current okay. mirror level, shifter, all these are different only, not a single project. Yeah, so uh, we will be working uh, in PLL means we will not uh, enter into other things, right? SRAM, DRAM, those things. No, 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 no. All these okay. are in yeah. okay. okay, okay. As I mentioned, so we will be in full ship uh, design. Full ship design we will mm -hmm. be working mm -hmm. on this project. Okay, okay. So based on our opinion, uh, whether uh, if I am trying for any industry after uh, uh, one year means uh, uh, whether uh, it will be supportive to me. Uh, yeah, we will be supporting you. We will be supporting you. Uh, so after taking the course until you get place, we will be supporting you. Okay. Until you get the place, uh, the uh, placement assistance will be uh, will be supporting. Okay. So because uh, I I want to tell you one thing frankly, uh, because people are joining uh, less for the layout. Usually that is a tendency mm -hmm. in VLSI. Yes. Uh, for your more clarification regarding the placement, uh, as I already mentioned mm -hmm. that the last batch mm -hmm. uh, there were nine students we have trained out of nine seven one got placed. Uh, why two okay. are not this means uh, they are not prepared well and not regularly attending the sessions. Okay, remaining okay. seven students, if you have any doubts mm -hmm. regarding the placement, remain mm -hmm. seven students, phone numbers mm -hmm. will be sharing you for your uh, double clarification. Yeah, actually, have I, have, uh, yeah, I have good feedback about uh, VLSA Guru, sir. Uh, so that's why uh, we are uh, mainly focusing on VLSA Guru. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, yeah, just, I, I want to make you a more uh, clarification because yes. this is what tells you that the layout, there will be less strength will be there. Uh, you, there are students mm -hmm. uh, thinking mindset is like, okay, this course is not having full scope, uh, whether I'm not, uh, not uh, there is no less placement for this. That's why students are not joining. These kind of questions will be there in the students' mind. Okay. To clarify okay. that, I'm telling them. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, any questions from others? You can go ahead. Sir, for this design, we are using uh, which library file, sir? SAD32. Uh, uh, okay, okay. This is what we are using. Let me show you. 
and we have uh, PTK for 40 nanometers also. Uh, okay. 40 nanometers, one or two circuits we will be showing you, demonstrating, uh, demonstrating in the 40 nanometer. Okay. This PDK will... sir, uh, uh, okay, sir, after seeing this, I will uh, ask my other doubts. Sir. Okay. Okay, then any other questions from there, please go or else we'll uh, wind up this session. Uh, sir, okay, yesterday I attended sir. this. Uh, hmm. Sir, uh, one question, sir, please. Sir. Uh, yesterday I attended this uh, digital uh, system, sir, where uh, the uh, trainer was uh, talking about uh, the layout design and the physical design, those things should be. Uh, based on the foundry recommendations and it should be fabricable uh, mm. so that only the fabrication cost also will be reduced like that uh, he was talking. So uh, mm. whether uh, our design also will uh, focus on uh, all the foundry based uh, uh, things and uh, uh, it should be uh, as of the industrial practice because uh, we have seen the basic academic things but uh, the industrial thing uh, uh, we want to know more that's why. No, yeah, basically we, we will be working on this uh, 28 nanometer uh, in okay. this layout course. Uh, as I said, that okay. on 40 nanometer, we will be demonstra demonstrating you few circuits. As okay. we doesn't have a tool, tool uh, only okay. one or two users there, so that uh, few circuits will be demonstrating, demonstrating in the 40 nanometer. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. For a layout design engineer, what will be the uh, basic uh, salary uh, based on the industry? Uh, uh, so, see, uh, in, uh, layout engineers are, uh, uh, I can broadly classify it into three. Uh, one is okay. a full layout engineer, full custom. Okay. Uh, you should go from, uh, you should have at least uh, seven to ten years of experience. Uh, who who okay. should know that complete design part and then all pre simulation tools idea and then uh, layout and layout issues. A complete mm -hmm. start uh, schematic entry into the uh, pre post layout simulation. All those idea who should have those engineers we call it as a full custom layout engineers. Uh, okay. Who is having uh, 10 years of experience, the package will be more than 70 lakhs. Uh, sorry, more than 30 lakhs. Okay. Okay. And again, custom layout engineer, uh, again, mm -hmm. uh, design. So, design mm -hmm. engineer, you know, better scope than the layout engineers, layout engineers, okay. uh, who's going mm -hmm. to do the schematics. Okay. Uh, one pressure, they will be start uh, starting from 3 lakhs onwards. There's a pressure in design engineer or the layout engineer. Uh, they will start okay. from the 3 lakhs. So having the experience of uh, two, three, or four years, they'll be okay. getting more than more than ten lakhs. As a professional, you can expect mm -hmm. starting from two lakhs to five lakhs. Even though after uh, postdoc, uh, we will uh, get uh, that much, uh, or uh, that is what my doubts are. Postdoc, you completed your PhD. Yeah, I already completed PhD in 2020 and uh, uh, for four years I was working in academia. Then uh, I came for a postdoc oh. before six months here. Uh, mostly oh. then, next then, six then, months or next one year I will come out from my ITO. Okay, okay. Then your case, you are not a uh, fresher. Fresher, you will be an experienced okay. candidate. The selection okay. criteria will be different for you because you have okay. that you are in the PhD. Doctorate with mm -hmm. the post doc you are able to finish. Then for you, the selection will be selection criteria will be quite different from freshers. Okay. Then you can you can expect uh, good salary ones. I mean good package. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Can I know? Like, okay, sir. Thank you. Your... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the area of your research? Sir, actually, in my PhD, I was working on a low noise amplifier design, 
in current okay. switches only uh, at present i am working on a pll design uh, okay. uh, we are planning to design as an ip uh, before uh, completing post tech okay yes sir yes sir yeah okay okay and yes sir yes sir. thank you sir thank you yeah okay uh, if there are no questions i will let me wind up the session here okay thank you all thank you sir